Hi everyone, my name is Grace if you are new to my channel, if not welcome back. Today I'm going to be guiding you through a slightly longer Ashtanga Vinyasa flow. This is going to be great for you if you are maybe new to the Ashtanga practice and you want to get a little bit of a flavour of it without having to commit to the full primary series. You're not going to need any props for this practice, however I am going to make use of a couple of blocks, so if you do have them, feel free to use them as we go through. We're going to begin at the top of our mats in Samastiti B. Bring your toes together, create a gap in your heels, palms to prayer and we'll close the eyes. I invite you to take a sighing out breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Just start to soften your inhales, your exhales, creating a nice rhythm with your breath. Spread out the toes, we'll lift the kneecaps and stand up tall, ready to begin with a few sun salutations, but take it easy, especially on this first round. So we'll breathe in, open the eyes. And exhale here. Reaching your arms up and over your head. Full inhale and exhale to hinge from the hips. Forward fold. Taking a bend in those knees and relaxing our heads. Inhale, we'll lift to flat back position. Fingertips or hands on the shins. And on our exhale, we'll ground the palms, bend the knees, step back on the right foot and then the left high plank position. Spread out your fingers, squeeze the glutes, take a breath in and on our exhale drop to the knees, bring the chest down nice and controlled. Just peel your chest up as you inhale, come to baby cobra, shoulders drop back, lift the gaze and slowly curl your toes, push into the hands, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out those heels if you feel you need to. Oh, I slip a bit of dust off my mat. <laughs> Maybe bend both knees, straighten them out. No pressure to fully extend those legs, especially if you're quite tight in the calves or the hamstrings. Take a bend in the knees. We'll take one more full breath in and out. As you inhale, look forward, step through on your right foot and then on your left. Come back into your flat back, lengthen the spine, exhale, fold forward, tuck the chin. Open the arms wide, reach up, inhale to Urdhva Hastasana, exhale, Samastiti B. Second round, breathe in, Urdhva Hastasana, full body stretch, reach up, exhale, hinge, and fold forward. Inhale to flat back position. Exhale back on the left foot and back on the right. High plank. Keep those fingers spread. Breathe in. And if it's in your practice, full chaturanga. If not, knees, chest, chin. Lift into upward facing or high cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, bend the knees if we need. Let's hold this time for three. Again, in and out through the nose. Take one more breath here. Breathe in to look forward. Step through on your left foot. Then on your right. Flat back position. Exhale, fold forward. Maybe starting to play with straightening the legs. Inhale, reach up. Urdhvastasana, exhale, Samastiti B. Bring the arms up and overhead, inhale, exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana. Palms heading towards flat, inhale to flat back, exhale, back on the right, then on the left. Maybe bring the shoulders forward an inch as you breathe in, breathe out, elbows in, lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Let's do it. Two. One more. Breathe in to look forward. Step forward on the left, then on the right. Flat back position. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, reach up. Urdhasasana. Exhale, Samasthiti. We'll take one more round. Breathe in. Big stretch, lift up through the arms, look up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, back on the right, then on the left. Keep breathing, inhale, maybe knock the shoulders forwards. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, into your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Holding for three. Keep that breath soft. For two. Last one. Breathe in, look forward, step forward right foot, step forward left foot, flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up, Urdhasvasana, exhale, Samasthiti. Take a breath here, maybe you want to roll out your shoulders, re-spread the toes. We're going to take one round of Sun Salutation V here. I'm going to guide it slightly differently. Take your feet out so they're hip width. Respread those toes. Bend the knees, sit into the heels. Lift the arms as we inhale. Utkatasana, chair pose. Feeling those quads fire, the core engage. Reach up and try and straighten out the arms if you can. Take a breath in at the top and then fold over those legs. Uttanasana, same as before, half vinyasa, lift up, inhale, flat back, exhale, hands down, step back into your high plank position, bring your shoulders forward, exhale, lower down, inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. Now from here, as we breathe in, we'll step our right foot forward between the thumbs, Ground that left heel and then reach up with the arms. Virabhadrasana A, Warrior One. Sit the hips into it. Feel that stretch in the back calf. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands to your mat. Step back right foot. Realign left, high plank. Again, half vinyasa. Breathe in. Exhale, lower. Keep that core tight. Lift up. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, step forward left foot, ground right heel, sweep the arms up. Virabhadrasana A, warrior one, second side. Maybe as you exhale, sit those hips down and twist them forward. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to the mat, step back left foot, high plank. Breathe in. Breathe out lower. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. We'll hold for three. For two. Final breath here. Good job as you inhale, look forward. Step forward, find your flat back position. Maybe take the feet out, hip width. Exhale, fold forward. Sit your hips into your heels. Sweep the arms up. Final time, Utkatasana. Big breath in. And then stand up tall, straighten the legs. Palms back to prayer. Join the toes together. Samasthiti. Again, maybe roll out those shoulders. Reconnect to your breath. Now I'm going to use a small block here. You don't have to if you don't ha have one or want to. It is your core. It's a nice option to have in practice though. So if you're using a block, just set it somewhere.
somewhere in the top right hand corner of the mattress so it's easy to grab. Palms back to prayer and as we inhale we'll step our right foot back, turning the right toes to the long edge of the mat. If we're using a block, bring it to its highest setting, place it on the inside of your left foot and straighten both legs. We will open the arms, breathe in, and then on our exhale, slide the hips back, reaching your left hand forward. And when you can feel that stretch in your hamstring, drop your hand to the block, to your shin, maybe even to the ankle, and send the right arm high, looking up and leaning back. Really open your chest. Hold here for three. Now, as we're here, tighten up those quads, so lift your kneecaps. For two, try and send that right hand high, leaning back. One more. Well done. Now look down towards your left foot. Inhale to come straight up to stand. Keep your arms wide. Keep the block where it is. And as we exhale, bend into the left knee, sending that left knee over the left toes. And allow your right foot to inch back until you find your warrior two position. Sit your hips into it. Make sure that back wrist isn't falling down. Hold for three. Now let the breeze steady through the nose. For two. One more breath. Keep those legs as they are. Take an inhale first and on our exhale, we'll drop left hand again to meet the block. Same as Trikonasana. Reach your right hand high, but this time we're keeping those legs in that warrior two position. If you feel like you've got more space here, drop that block onto a lower setting, maybe even getting the hand flat on the mat. Extended side angle variation. Again, three full breaths here. For two, stay strong in those legs. Last breath. Well done, again look down at your left foot before you move. Bring yourself all the way up through warrior two, and then straighten out that front leg. Release the arms, maybe give them a little shake out. And we're gonna heel toe that back foot towards the middle of our mat, and turn it on an angle. So as we turn, we pivot the hips. We'll point that right foot out slightly, keeping the left foot forward. And I want you to grab your block again if you're using it. Back to the highest setting, and this time place it on the outside edge of your left foot. Hands to the waist, lift up to your chest and just take a breath. Make sure that right hip is pulling forward and then we'll drop the left hand to the lower back to the sacrum. Swing your right hand up into the air, full breath in. Now tighten up those quads as we reach forward, keeping both legs straight and then twist, right hand onto the block Free your chest away from that left thigh. And then if this feels like enough balance for you, stay here if you want more. Reach your left hand high, twisting the chest even further. You've got this, hold the balance. Three. Two. One more deep breath. Now to release, drop that left hand. Look down at your left foot, then inhale, come all the way up. We'll reach up with both hands, high prayer, and then exhale, step forward, drop the prayer to heart center, TT. Move the block to the top left hand corner of the mat, ready for the second side. Big inhale, step your left foot back, ready for Trikonasana. I'm gonna go without the block this side, but you guys continue using the block if you want to, if you feel like it's working for you. Open the arms, full breath in, exhale, hips back, reach forward, drop and open. Now as you're here in Trikonasana, try not to collapse into that bottom hand, that bottom arm. Stay nice and lifted through the side of the body. Remember to lean back, almost scrunching up your mat with your feet here. I know it's a little bit of balance as well. We'll go for one more breath here in Trikonasana. Soften out that exhale, focus on your breath. Cool, take an inhale, come up to stand, arms open. 
Exhale, send the right knee over the right toes. Allow that left foot to inch back. Find your warrior two position. Drishti, gaze out over the middle finger of that front hand. Hold for three. Allow those hips to sink a little bit as you exhale. For two. Take one more breath. Well done, now take an inhale before you move, lock out those legs, exhale reaching your right hand down, inside of right foot, or remember use your block here if you want to, and then lift up left hand, extended side angle variation, for three, try and open your chest to the ceiling, for two, last breath. Nice, as you inhale, come back to warrior two, nice and controlled, and then exhale, straighten that front leg. Drop the arms, maybe shake them out. Heel toe the back foot in and off, so you've got that balance. Swing the hips round, pointing your right foot forward, back foot on an angle. Use your block if you want to. Remember, we can always adjust the block, so drop them onto a lower setting as you get more comfortable in the poses. Right hand onto the sacrum. Lift up with the left, take an inhale, exhale, reach forward and twist. Hand to block or floor, if you want more, right hand lifts up into the air. Three, pull that back hip crease forward if you can, for two. Last one. Well done, look down at your right foot. Sweep both arms up and overhead, inhale, maybe look up, exhale, step it forwards, Samastiti B. Move your block out of your way if you're using one. We're going to take a vinyasa here, so same as our sun salutations, back to downward facing dog this time. So bring your arms up, inhale, Urdha Hastasana, exhale, fold forwards, inhale, Lift to flat back, exhale, high plank. You can skip out the high plank if you want to, just come straight to down dog. Take a breath in, exhale, lowering down. Inhale to your back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. Just take a breath here, maybe you need a sign out breath through the mouth. Now we'll move as we inhale, keeping that breath steady through the nose. Step your right foot forward between your thumbs. Don't worry if you need to use your hand to move the foot through. And from here, start to find your balance. So spread out the toes on the right foot and make sure the heel of the left is lifted. Try and drop your hips a little bit and move the hands slightly further forward if we can. So we'll look forward, breathe in, and then on our exhale, we're kicking our left heel towards the ceiling while simultaneously straightening that right leg. So take a breath in, exhale, lift. Now once you're here, feel that deep stretch in the right hamstring and try and find as much length as you can through the spine. Hold for three. For two, try and drive that left heel up if we can. One more breath, stay focused, you got this. Now we'll hug our left knee to chest, taking a micro bend in the right knee, find your balance and come up to stand. There's no rush with this. And as you come up to stand, try and find something not moving, focus your gaze there, bring your hands onto your waist. You got this, don't worry if you're feeling a bit wobbly. Lift that left knee, flex the toes, and then stack your left ankle on top of the right leg, making sure to not put pressure on that right knee. Now send that left knee out to the side, bring your palms to prayer, and much like Utkatasana, sit your hips down and back. Don't worry if you're wobbling a bit, you've got this. Hold for three, for two. You've got one more breath, well done. 
Now with control, inhale to stand up from the pose and exhale, release that left leg, walk it out a little bit. Don't worry, especially if you're fairly new to balancing postures, the ankle of the foot we stand on often feels a little bit kind of tight as we're in and out of balances. That's normal. Give it a little shake out if you need. Cool. We're going to stay on this right leg and we're going to come up into big toe stretch. So I'm going to give you a few options here. Option one, all I want you to do is lift your left knee, transferring weight into that right foot, interlace your fingers and hug that knee to your chest. This is option one. Option two, still lifting that leg up. Find a big toe bind, peace fingers and thumb, take hold of that big toe and stand up, opposite hand on the waist. Option three, kick forward all the way. Option three, option two, option one. You guys get the, get the gist. I'm gonna to turn to face you just so it's a little bit easier for you to see what I'm doing. Take a breath before we begin. Maybe palms to prayer. Find that non-moving object in front of you. Weight is going down into the right foot. We're lifting the left knee. Take a breath in, lift that knee, and then pick your option. I'm gonna go in for full big toe stretch. Bind up that toe, stand up tall, take a breath in, and then exhale, extend. Well done. Hold, three, Wherever you are, focus on lifting that knee for two. Last breath here, you've got this. With control, let go of that big toe if you've got hold of it. If we're bending the knee, I want you to kick the leg forward and try and bring the foot up as high as you can, working those hip flexors. Three, hands on the waist for two. And one, drop it down, walk it out. Well done guys, Whew. let's get our breaths back, come back to the top of your mat and we'll take a vinyasa again to downward facing dog, palms come to prayer, breathe in, lift all the way up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, lift the flat back, exhale, step into your high plank, remember to skip this if you need to, breathe in, Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnect your breath. Same again, left side. Bring your left foot forward, setting up to lift that back heel. So adjust your fingers. Heel of that back foot is lifted. Stretch out your hips, sit into it. Look forward, breathe in. Exhale, kick and straighten. Maybe try to float a little bit up onto the very tips of the fingers, even maybe bringing palms to prayer one day, trying to lengthen out a little bit if you want to. Don't have to, just an option. Keep your breath steady. Keep that Ujjayi breath switched on. One more breath. Awesome work. We'll hug right knee to chest. Take a micro bend in your left knee. Stand up. Don't worry if you're a bit wobbly, Ooh. all the way up to stand. Lift, lift, lift with that right knee, palms to prayer, flex the toes, cross ankle over leg, and send that right knee out to the side, standing figure four. I want you to think about keeping your shoulders back and down. Take a breath in, exhale, sit your hips into it. Should feel quite a deep stretch on the outside edge of that active leg. Keep breathing for two. One more, you've got this. And we're releasing here, so smoothly inhale, lift that knee, and exhale, walk it out a little bit. Well done, shake out the ankles if you need to. Remember, I'm turning to face you just so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see, but stay facing the top of your mat. Exactly the same second side. Weight into the opposite foot this time. Remember option one, just take hold of that knee. Option two, 
Go for the big toe bind without punching too far forward if you can. And option three, kick all the way out. Hold, you got this. Three. For two. Keep your breath strong, last one. Lift, lift, lift. Nice, now release that toe with as much control as you can. Point the toes and lift that leg. Both hands on the waist. Hold for three, you got this. Stay focused. For two, don't worry if you're wobbling. One more, let's lift that leg. One more inch. Ah, and release. Well done. Shake it out. If you're anything like me, you probably notice one side feels a little bit stronger than the other. Don't worry about it. Toes back together. Arms up. Inhale. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, high plank. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, this time lower onto your knees, your chest and your chin. And we're going to come straight up into high cobra. So take a breath in as you lie on your belly. And as you exhale, push into those arms, full extension. Maybe lift your chin a little bit if that feels okay. But just drop your shoulders. Hold, two deep breaths. For two. One more. Now take a full breath in and as you exhale, gently lower all the way down. Make a little pillow with your hands for your forehead. Drop your head and just rock out those hips. Maybe close your eyes here and we're really Changing the pace of our practice, starting to slow things down a little, but remember to stay with that nice active deep ujjayi breath. From here we're going to go into a pose that you might not be altogether familiar with. It's called, well I like to call it back strengthening pose. Essentially, it's a bit of a posterior chain activation exercise. Bring your forehead onto your mat and reach those arms forward. What we're trying to do is lift everything up off the mat, keeping the belly down, squeezing the glutes and keeping the neck nice and neutral. Really lock out your elbows, your knees, and as you exhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the legs, lift the arms, lift the head. Now really reach forward without craning your neck, Kick back and hold, keep breathing. For three, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. For two, reach forward, kick back. You've got one more here, one last little lift. And release, hands back under the forehead. Wiggle out the hips. Well done. Nice work everyone, slowly we're going to bring hands under shoulders and we're going to push back into tabletop pose. Feel free to take a little cat cow here if you want to. But you just work through those shoulders, through the spine. Notice what's being a little bit tight. Now from here we're going to come to lie down on the back. So swing yourself around, lie on your back, and once you get there, maybe bring the heels in a little so you can just about touch your ankles and bring the shoulders down. We're going to go for a couple of rounds of little bridge. I'm going to give us progressions as we go through. So spread your toes, take a big breath in, and as we exhale, we'll push into the feet, we'll lift the hips up. Now you should feel something in your hip flexors here. Option one is just to stay where you are, hands pressing into the ground. But if we can, we'll interlace the fingers behind the bum and try and wiggle the shoulders one by one underneath the body to lift a little bit higher into the back bend. Keep the neck nice and neutral for three, for two. Push into those heels, you've got this last one. Really nice, release the hands. Nice and carefully, 
and slowly, slowly curl it down through your spine. Maybe you want to windshield wipe those knees. Excuse my busy back. We'll go for one more round of this. So just reset through those ankles, make sure you can just about touch them. Take a full inhale and exhale, lift up. Send the hips high, hands on the mat if you want to. We'll go for that deeper expression. Interlace the fingers. Think about lifting up through the chest, pushing the little fingers down. Keep breathing. Good two. One more breath. Well done. Slowly, slowly release, uncurl all the way. And then just hug your knees to your chest. So you're feeling a little squeeze in. Maybe a little roll from side to side. And then let's show that whole spine, whole back a little bit of love. Take hold of the back of your legs and just start to rock forwards and backwards along the length of your spine. Maybe taking the feet all the way back and over the head and then swinging forward. But don't worry if we've not got that range to work with. Just whatever feels good. One more of these. Come up to seated when you're ready. We're going to extend those legs all the way out and just move the flesh of the bum out of the way so you can feel your sissy bones. We're going to go in for a nice deep forward fold. So think about pointing your toes back to your face rather than away from your face. We'll start by reaching up, create a bit more space in your body, fingertips towards the ceiling and then maintaining that length in your spine, hinge to fold forward. Now what I tend to see all the time with this pose is a rush to get to the feet. So we end up curving through the spine. Now while this isn't super bad, don't worry if this is you, I want you to see if you can make this work, work a little bit better for you, sorry. So by reaching up, we're creating that space, keep that space and then hinge to fold. So if that means dropping your hands to your legs, so you can think about inhaling to lift and lengthen a little bit and exhaling to fold, going to be a little bit kinder to you long term. If we can, maybe find the toes and fold a little bit deeper, but you don't have to. Hold wherever you are. We'll go for three breaths. Good two. Last one. Nice, well done. We'll come out the way we came in. Bring your arms up and over your head as you inhale. And on our exhale, hug your right knee into your chest and just give it a little squeeze. Before we then drop that knee to the side, pressing sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Readjust yourself if you need to. Flex those toes. And again, create that space. Arms up and over your head as you breathe in. And as you exhale, we're heading towards that left foot. Trying to bind eventually, but same applies with this fold as the last one. Take the hands up the leg if we need to. Maybe you can use a strap if you're comfortable with that. Push your right knee down. Hold for three. Good two. One more breath. Well done, now bring your arms up and over your head as you inhale. And then as we exhale, we'll turn the chest to that knee that's bent to the side. Drop the hand behind us for a bit of support and pull that knee up. So the sole of the foot presses now to the floor or the mat. We adjust yourself and we're going to hook that elbow over. So take a big breath in, lift your left arm high. And as you exhale, bend the elbow, hook the elbow over the knee, lift and twist your chest to look back. So every time you breathe in and twist, I want you to think about lengthening through the spine. And as you exhale, twist to look back. Good, two. One more breath. Nice, inhale, look forwards. And then exhale, release those legs. Maybe give them a little bit of a bounce out on your mat. I'm gonna show you a little trick here with a thin block, which you can use if you want to. 
but it's just an option. I'd avoid using a larger block with this, but if you have anything that looks like this or a thin block, then feel free to sit down on the block and just bring your sitting bones to the edge of the block. So flex the toes to the face, lift up as you inhale, exhale, folding forward. You might find this gives you a little bit more space with the fold, but if it doesn't feel comfortable, then don't worry. Remember, hands can go anywhere down the leg. All I want you to avoid doing here is hunching over those legs. Keep the chest open. For three. For two. Last one. Nice, we'll bring the chest up as we inhale. And if you're using a block, just come off it and then set that back to one side. Try not to use the block for these next two postures if you can. So bringing your left leg in this time, open it out to the side, flex the toes on that extended leg, breathe in, lift up, exhale, fold forward and push your left knee down, Janu Shirasana A, hold for three, for two, last one. Breathe in, lift the arms up, and then exhale, swivel. Turn around to face that knee, bring the sole of the foot down, reach up, and exhale, hook over. Twist to look back, Mary Chesna C, variation. So hold for three, for two, one more breath. Inhale to look forwards and exhale to release. Just give those knees a little bit of a bang out on your mat. We're gonna take one final pose here, which is reverse tabletop. I'm gonna modify this variation just for the purposes of this particular sequence. If you're comfortable with reverse plank and you wanna practice it, go ahead. But if not, just stick with me. Feet are gonna come back into that position they were for our bridge pose. Shuffle the bum towards them a little bit so you can get your hands behind you, fingers face forward. Ground through your feet, ground through your palms, breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're lifting the hips, opening the chest and dropping our head back. Squeeze your glutes to lift and hoist your hips nice and high and hold for three. You might feel this in your forearms as well. For two, one more breath. Nice, chin to chest, bum down onto the mat, extend those legs all the way out. Nice and slowly guide yourself down to lie flat on your back. Shoulders away from the ears, palms to the ceiling and take your heels out to the long edge of your mat, allowing your toes to relax. Maybe take a sighing out breath as you close your eyes. yourself a couple of minutes here in Shavasana, your final resting pose at the end of your practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me today everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you did enjoy and until I see you again, namaste.